The scores are Adesadel College, nine points. Agri Memorial Zion Senior High School, 15 points. Infant Supreme School, 18 points. St. Augustine's College, 20 points. That brings us to round two. Round two is the speed race. And here, each question that is read out is open to all the schools at the same time. So our first question for the speed race. At any time, if your answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point of one. Okay. So our first question for the speed race. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve. Y equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 at the point x equals 2 on the curve. St. Augustine's College. The equation of the tangent is equal to uh, y, mm -hmm. is it, y is equal y is um, we add y, y minus 4x is I, equal, y minus 4x is equal to 2. No. Never mind, it's even incorrect. And next time if you... Next time if you do that, I'll move on. Agri Memorial, your answer. Y is equal to... Y is equal to negative 12 x. No. Who rang the bell next? Add a saddle. Four. Y is equal to 4x minus 6. That's correct. So I'm sure... I'm sure you all realize that the stakes are really high. So if you ring the bell, it means you have an answer. You don't ring the bell and calculate whilst another school waits. Our next question. Given that sign A equals 2 on 3, find cos 2A. Yes, in front of him. 1 over 9. That's correct. <laughs> inverse of the linear transformation x comma y goes to 2x minus y comma 3x minus y at the Saddle College. So the inverse is x y maps to negative, negative x, x plus y comma negative 3x plus 2y. That's correct. <laughs> What is the vacuum? What is the vacuum wavelength of the photon emitted in the 4P going to 2S transition of the hydrogen atom? Yes, in front of him. Okay, it's equal to 4.9 by 10 raised to a power of negative 7 meters. That's 190 nanometers. I'll take it. Okay. 
don't be letting me do mathematical calculations here, please. <laughs> with respect, with respect to the hydrogen atom, what is the wavelength in A for the Bauman limit? Yo, it's coming. Have you rang your bell now? Oh, okay. 366 nanometers. No. Yes, Adisado. 365 nanometers. Yes. Your bell is working. So the thing is if... Okay. Find the average molecular speed of a gas at 300 Kelvin, composed of molecules each of mass 5.3 times 10 to the power minus 26 kilograms. Four hundred and forty six meters per second. Okay. What is the function of the P seven hundred in the light agri memorial? The the P seven hundred is responsible for absorbing light light wavelengths, light of wavelengths seven hundred nanometers for energizing the, for energizing the, for I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Our next question. What, please, what is the main difference between the spine of modern humans and apes? Yes, in fact, the spine of modern humans is more erect than the spine of apes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Who are actually no, no, no. Actually, it's not correct. Who rang the bell next? Uh, sorry, what happened? You are not done when I said, okay, continue. I'll let you continue. No, wait. I know what they said, so you continue. The spine of modern humans is more erect than the spine of apes. In that, the spine of modern humans is arranged in such a way that the base of the spine contains vertebra that are much larger than the vertebra. No, it's not correct. So who? Yes. St. Augustine. Yes, St. Augustine. Okay, so the spine, the spine of modern humans is strict and more erect, but the spine of apes has a curvature at the posterior end, such that it, it looks, it makes it seem and um, have a more curved look, such that they have an arch look when they stand, but the humans are erect. Sorry, sorry, hold on. St. Augustine, your answer again. The spine of modern humans is erect, and the spine of apes is curved. That's, no, that's not correct. It has a curve at the posterior end. No. No, who rang the bell next? At this school. You did, they said they didn't ring the bell. Agri, did you rang the bell? Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so this is the difference. Humans have curved spines and apes have straight spines. None of you said that. Initially, I thought infant film said it, but they had mixed it. They interchanged it. Okay. So our next question. In the history of human civilization, what was the chief source of fuel?
fossil, fossil fuel. Yes, I do, Sado. Answer. Fire. No, no. Who else rang their bell? Okay, so fossil fuel discovery. What was the chief source of fuel? Yes, in fancy pim. Wood. That's correct. <laughs> I would have been pained if this question was not answered correctly. Our last set of questions for this round. The pH of a saturated solution of ZN bracket open OH bracket close subscript 2 at 10 is 10, sorry, at 25 degrees Celsius. What is the solubility product of this ZNOH2 at this temperature? St. Augustine. So it's giving us 2 by 10 exponent negative 3 more per dm cube. No. Agri Memorial. Agri. We have 2 point. Just, no, just 2, two by, by 10, 10 to the power negative, three. negative 2. two. No, no. Did you ring your bell? I did that, okay. Five by ten is when you negative thirteen. No. Did you ring your bell? Yes. Twenty five by ten exponents, negative ten. No, no. So, Adisa, that was the closest. And I'm sorry, 5.0 times 10 to the power minus 13. Okay. In a furnace, iron 3 oxide reacts with carbon to produce iron and carbon dioxide. What mass of iron is formed? When 40 grams of iron 3 oxide is heated, Fe is 56 gram per mole, O is 16 gram per mole. Yes, um, at this other college. 28 grams. That's correct. Our last question for this round. An ideal gas occupying a volume of 112.0 dm cube at a pressure of 148 kilopascals expands to eight times its original volume. Determine the new pressure in the. Yes, in fancy Yes. 1,006. Sorry, 1,568. Kilo Pascal. No. Who else rang your bell? St. Um, Augustine's College. You speak. Give me your answer. We'll, yes? Okay, that's correct. We wait for the mic so that you speak. Try your mic again and speak into your microphone. The answer is correct, but let's all hear it. 18.5 kilopascal. That's correct. That brings us to the end of round two.